you'll, you'll absorb so much information today if one thing you can do is go home and back to your workplaces and just continue with those conversations. So creating a mentally healthy workplace. That is what we're here for today. All of our speakers and sessions today are here to make you think about what constitutes a mentally healthy workplace and to provide some lessons and actions in order to create a mentally healthy workplace. We've touched on this important aspect over work health and safety already at this showcase. Yesterday we had Professor Nikki Ellis and then yesterday afternoon we had Dr. Peter Miller outlining the national physical, uh, psychological rather, risk guidance. So this morning we're going to explore more about workplace bullying, what it is and why and how it happens. Uh, we know the features of jobs and factors in the work environment are often the primary causes. We know that stressful working conditions such as role stresses and low control are associated with greater exposure to bullying, which often reflects the functioning of the organisational system. To talk more about the serious consequences of workplace bullying, we have Damien and Ray Panlock from Brodie's Law Foundation here this morning as the keynote speakers for this session. They will share their very personal experience with workplace bullying and how it is now crime punishable by up to 10 years in Victoria. In furthering this discussion around workplace bullying, we'll also hear from Associate Professor Michelle Tuckey from the University of South Australia. Michelle was a 2007 recipient of the Safe Workers A Augusta Zadoff Awards. Um, where she introduced a workplace bullying risk assessment tool. She also sits on the board of Brodie Law Foundation. And we'll also hear from Catherine Doherty from Beyond Blue. She has come over from Melbourne to share with us some of the resources and knowledge that Beyond Blue have in this area. And then in closing off this morning's component, we've got McMahon's contractors here to share with us the success they've realised through their positive mental health initiative. So this afternoon, after a short break, um, we're then going to hear from Chris Howie of the SA Ambulance Service with a fair, fairly harrowing outline of the occupational violence that our AMBOs have to put up with here in South Australia. Following this is a fantastic panel bringing us a whole range of ideas about the concepts of fitness for work. This term has quite specific meaning within some areas, including drugs and alcohol in the workplace, However, we're looking at today from a more universal approach and ensuring workers are at their best. We've got Associate Professor Ken Pidd and Gabriel Kelly for this session with an interactive Q&A for you all to join into so you can really start thinking about um, this in South Australian context. In discussing how do we eliminate workplace bullying as well as ensuring fitness for work, these two components support the creation of a mentally healthy workplace. Although we are still only just touching the size of this crucial issue, one that is going to become increasingly important to support into the future.